referenced um, at the top how good you feel like this team is, mm -hmm. and but you also referenced the fact that the state has two of the probably best three, five yep. college softball teams in America right now. Obviously, you all, like you said, you had to resurrect where the program was to get to get to this point. But how much do you feel like having the Women's College World Series down the road? I mean, some of the things that are happening around you has helped. I mean, it had to happen, obviously, I know, within the walls. But yeah. how, how has all that played together in your mind to get you guys into this position right now? Well, I mean, I think it's a big part of the puzzle. You know, when you put all these pieces together, um, I would much rather have OKC right here than being on the uh, West Coast. Um, it's a constant reminder when we drive down uh, I-35 to go play, you know, the Texas schools or whatever it is that we're going to, we pass right by it. We've had a couple years where we've just driven our bus in there and circled the park and, and just gone out and not even said anything, just kind of, hey, here it is. Like... Um, so I think that's a huge deal. I think it's our responsibility as well to grow it. Um, and we need to get better over there. You know what I mean? We need to, um, continue to make it the best thing. You know, we're starting to make some really good rule changes. We're starting to invest more. We need to, we need to be a part of, um, making it the best event that softball ever sees. Um, and I'm committed, you know, if they, if, they want us to be more involved. We want to be more involved. Um, I think we should be. Um, I think both of our schools should host that thing in a in a in a way that that nobody can touch it. And um, so it's a huge deal, and I love it. I love that we get to play the Big Twelve tournament there. Um, we wouldn't change that when we were bringing the tournament back. We had a we had one Texas school. I won't say which one that wanted to move it to Texas. And we all kind of raised our eyes, like, why would we move this anywhere but OKC? It's yes, is there an advantage to OU or OSU? Yes, probably so if you get to that final game. Um, but why wouldn't you want to, if your if your end game goal is to be in OKC and win that last game, why wouldn't you want to put your kids in that stadium as much as you could? So um, I think it's huge. Um, I think it's great. Um, and I, I think what it really does is it really exposes the the truth that Oklahoma is one of the top states for for softball as well. There's a lot of talent that comes out of here. We're a we're probably a top seven or eight state for sure when you look at talent um, and the way it's coming out of here and the way it's across the country and D one two three NAI. I mean, there's some really good softball played here and a lot of good high school kids that come out of here. So. Um, I think that says a lot about what we have, what we, we do. Are we perfect? No. Do we need to get better? Yes. Do I think we need to play spring softball? Yes. Um, do I think we need the, the slow pitch game? Probably not, but it's okay. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, I know there's probably people that will cringe when they hear that, but like I, it, I don't know that it's helping those kids in this game. You know, I'd like to see them play other sports would be really nice too, you know. They don't get a break here. This travel ball stuff's nonsense. The way we do so much of it, they don't ever get a break. Um, so um, there's a lot of great things, and having this thing in OKC is huge. Sure, it was not to sound like disrespectful, but uh, I don't know if when you first got here, you know, Oklahoma City was necessarily expected. But the way you develop players, the way you brought kids in in the portal is and based on the last two full seasons is Oklahoma City kind of expected moving forward you're gonna have to ask them I mean I I would I mean I would you know I, I'll speak for me um yeah yes like that that's the expectation and it's not getting to KC it was getting to KC our first years it's not that's not the expectation I think from my perspective um I, I personally would say that not being in that last game would be a disappointment. Now, I can live with that um, because as long as they've done everything and we've done everything in our power to um, put ourselves in that spot, then you just live with whatever comes. But the expectation for this team is to be in that final game. And so, um, yeah, I don't think it was that when we got here. Um, but it just it wasn't being talked through. You know what I mean? And you got to just 
talked through that, you know, that kind of stuff. I wouldn't have said that to our first team because I, we weren't capable. Um, they're just, you can, you know, Cinderella's story or not. I mean, we, you know, we got to Georgia and forced a NIF game. I mean, we, we, we were, we were literally 21 outs from being in a super regional in our first year. I mean, I think that was probably a Cinderella story. Um, so it is what it is. What it is. We've taken the uh, right steps, and I would think that the expectation of these kids, and you have to ask them, is to be an OK OKC every year. At the start, sure. it was just like um, it's every player's dream, and it was more of a hope than a reality, I guess. When two thousand hit, it was almost we shocked the world, and we shocked ourselves again. Mm -hmm. To be honest. So we're a team that's there not knowing what we don't know. And that was the beauty of it is we're not playing nervous because we're not even supposed to be here. We don't know to be nervous. Why are we being nervous? That was the beauty of sometimes your first opportunity. And the first opportunity we got there, we won it. It was like, how did we just, it was almost like, how did we just, how did, how did we do that? And sometimes I think it's being, you can make it too hard. That 2000 team made it almost easy because they had no care in the world. And that to me is the key is the more you like, we have to, we must, it's our, you know, this is what our, we don't operate like that. It is an expectation we have, but we don't talk about it a lot because it's built into our championship mindset. If you want to be a champion, that's where you need to end up. So everything that we do practice-wise is just geared to go in that direction without a lot of talk. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.